Okay, fam, let's go through the plot of Hamlet with some straight up Gen Z vibes for real. No, trust me, bruh, this story is lit at its finest. Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, who is giving heir to the throne, he'd just be like chilling and then suddenly finds out that his dad got clapped by his uncle Claudius. Claudius has become the new king, no cap, for real, and started simping for Hamlet's mum, Queen Gertrude, pulling some mad riz on her. He slipped into her DMs and also her bedroom. It's hella sus vibes. Major red flag. Then Hamlet's ghost dad just pulls up one night and it is giving, speaking from beyond the grave, and he's all like, yo, ham fam. Your uncle did me dirty, avenge me. And Hamlet's like, whoa, bet. But instead of just handling it, Hamlet starts like hella tweaking, like man spiraling mad. Man starts questioning his whole existence. It's giving to be or not to be. It's giving famous monologue. Meanwhile, Ophelia, who is Hamlet's girl, she be catching feels. She be catching feels hard. Daniel, paying attention. What does Ophelia be catching? Feels, yes, very good, listening please. But her feels don't fit in with the ham man's plan because he already acting fake crazy, okay? It's giving to Lulu. And Ophelia's all like, why you gotta be so toxic? And then she just snaps and takes a swim and doesn't float back up. RIP to a queen who slayed too hard. The whole scene is cry emoji. Hamlet accidentally shanks Ophelia's dad Polonius because he was being nosy and eavesdropping. It's like, bruh, stay in your lane or get wrecked. And then Laertes, who is Polonius' son, Ophelia's bruh, is like, uh, nah fam, Hamlet needs to catch these hands and challenges him to a duel. So they fight, but here's the tea. Everything is hella poisoned. Claudius tries to slay Hamlet. Gertrude drinks some sus wine. Laertes gets straight up wrecked. And then Hamlet's like, um, I'm gonna get Claudius too. In the end, everyone's hella dead. It's all giving hands over eyes shock emoji. And Hamlet's there dying like, um, I slayed, but at what cost? Moral of the story is, never trust your uncle with mad riz when he be making moves on your mum, and always trust your unalived dad when he's speaking to you from beyond the grave, even if he's literally ghosted you.